Welcome to today's 3D print. Time for some just cool goofy prints that I enjoyed doing. Stay tuned. So, I found that hexagonal vase on Thingiverse and I loved it. And I wanted to see how nice a print I can make of it. So this is printed on the Ender 2 in Protopasta's Candy Apple Red, which is a truly stunning color. The way that glistens, part of that is because the Ender 2 does such a nice job at putting the layers together that it behaves more like a solid instead of individual strands. When you have very, very well aligned layers, that's when you get the glistening facets like that. Even a cheap PLA will glisten like that if you can line up your layers properly. So that's one of the things that I like about the Ender 2. And of course, this filament is just stunning. You know, there's the bottom. Look at that. Very expensive though. $30 for half a kilo. That's 60 bucks a kilo. Ouch. But beautiful. So I limit it to small or thin, low plastic usage prints like that. Then, my CCU at work, my command carbon unit, my boss, she has a daughter who likes unicorns. And I was like, hey, let me find a unicorn. So I went on Thingiverse and found a unicorn. It prints like this. This was printed on the ANET E12 in um, Daffodil Dope Yellow from Toner Plastics. And it's designed to mount like that. It's a unicorn head. And of course, I was like, yeah, okay, I like it. It works well. I see a couple of areas that are flat that'll be a problem, but they connect properly around it, so it's a weak part that doesn't weaken the rest of the print. So I was like, let's go for it. Let's see how big Aina A12 can print. They're not the cleanest prints in the world, but it does do an acceptable job. Big head! <laughs> This thing's bigger than my head. <laughs> this thing is absolutely huge. You can, I can hide behind this thing. It's so big. This is neat. You're going to see this again on video because I'm going to do a project out of this if I have time. I plan to put a hole back here, make a you know a PLA wood mount, you know like a, a plaque that you would mount onto the wall, and put a light bulb in it so this thing will light up, make it glow. I'm even thinking about doing the horn in a separate piece, in a clear PLA, and then putting an RGB LED in the base of the horn so the horn will light up and change colors while this just glows, whatever color plastic it is. This is cool. It was just a fun print. It's a low poly unicorn. Prints like that, without support, without infill. I believe I did use three perimeters on this because I wanted it to be pretty strong because the kid's going to be handling it. I was surprised how strong it was. This is your weak point right here. If you tweak that hard enough, you're going to break it. But it is pretty strong. You can see I'm deflecting that pretty good and it's not breaking. Part of that is because the rest of this flexes with it. So you add too much reinforcement here, this is going to break. But because the rest of this flexes, as you can see, it's pretty resilient. I was surprised. I, I, I didn't think I'd be able to deflect it that far and have it not break. The one thing I would advise doing that I plan to do before I give this to anybody is to snip off the tip. So now that tip is not a sharp point, so a kid's not going to get hurt. You know, poke not less likely to get hurt if they were to poke that. Um, you know, if you, you poke yourself in the eye with that, it's going to hurt no matter what you do. But if that pokes your body or your hand now, now it's not going to hurt. You know, sand that off a little bit, melt a little bit, keep that a little rounder. But otherwise, very cool print. I'm pleased by that. Links will be down below to both of these on Thingiverse. Go download them, go play with them, enjoy them. <laughs> 